A question of character. Kieran is a man of kicks. He is a kickman. Kieran does not need weapons. He is his own weapon. My, My feet, feet destroy. destroy. Besides, Kieran's weapons are more useful for traveling. Kieran travels by sword, horse, sword, riding the ocean waves. Kieran is the strongest warrior of Teki, a deadly mercenary unit. Warriors of impressive strength, skill, and pants. Kieran enjoys flashiness as much as he enjoys bashiness. The spiky hair, the embroidered blue pants, and sash. The incredible body shirt and ponytail. It means nothing. I mean, the kanji on his chest means nothing. However, Kirin's outfit means everything. It is part of his intimidation. Kirin is fearless against limousine statue women. Your butterflies are useless. Kirin's kick draws blood from his friends. Kirin's kick draws blood from machines. Kieran is summoned by the Judicial Affairs Director, Jack Lazon, who commands by toilet. With a face like this, there is no way that he's evil. But wait, he's evil. Kieran is double-crossed to be killed by Sand, or killed by the worm dragon Sandora. Whichever comes first, Jack Lazon, that believes that Abdullah the Slaver is too powerful, now feels that Kieran is too powerful. Jack Lazon is an easily intimidated man. But Kieran refuses Sandy Worm death. Kick! Kieran walks the burning crystals of sand, seeking vengeance. Damn your butterflies! My, My feet, feet destroy! destroy. Kieran has aura spirit power. His essence is as strong as his presence. Kieran is set to assassinate this new world threat of Abdullah the Slaver, a beautiful woman of psychic magic and incredible stature, and pretty feet that wants to destroy the world. She adores the killing factor of Kieran, but Kieran only wishes to defeat Abdullah the Slaver and to rule the world. But that's just because he is all powerful, and no one man should have all this power. At least that is what Jack Layson and Kieran's techie comrades believe. Tiananmen, cannons, Wilf. They wish for Kieran's fall, especially Wilf. Henchman Cannons inquires into Kieran's lack of weaponry. Silly cannons, kicks are for face or whatever is left of it. Tiananmen welcomes their unfortunate reunion. Wilf reminds him of their previous battle, but Wilf will certainly want to forget the present one. Kieran is not invincible. If Kieran fails, he implodes into an energy of nothingness, similar to the kanji on his chest. But Kieran shall return. Kieran is too powerful for death, as well as tigers. My, My feet, feet destroy. destroy. Kieran obtains power-ups through floating orbs. Energy recovery. Pants coloring power-ups, allowing his kick to emit a striding arc causing for more death. The martial artistry of a strider. Kieran performs beautiful somersaults, sliding foot slices, and a punch for good measure. Kieran navigates awesomely in zero degree scenarios without vomiting. A true warrior. The speed of a master. The grip of a gripper. The pants of MC Hammer. Kieran is less a warrior and more a god. And he makes power girls cry. Power. Excellent. I forget Kieran. What is it that your feet do? My, My feet, feet destroy. destroy defense. Moderate. As powerful as he is, Kieran has a low threshold for pain. Only three or four hits shall implode him. Luckily, he's really hard to hit. Agility. Excellent. Kieran is here. Kieran is there. And with his secret fatal attack, Kieran is everywhere. Grade B. Kieran is intent on crushing his foes, even if the original purpose failed and does not require his assistance. It's the principle of it, and therefore, Kieran will undoubtedly extract his revenge. Oh, uh, well, as long as he's hurt, my, my feet, feet destroy. destroy. Next episode, up and at them. Quest with me. Learn with us. Enrich your mind. Empower your anchor like our material. Subscribe to our page. Put character into question. Return every Monday for more. A question of character.